This is our journey. We're healing together. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Here Together, Healing Together. I'm Lauren. I'm Glenda. And it has been two and a half years at this point since we first recorded Here Together, Healing Together. And so much has happened, y'all. <laughs> so much. Ma, do you want to tell the people what happened, even though you already know, probably? Well, um, we were contacted by Good Morning America and um, invited to share our journey um, on a national scale. Yes, and so it came about just out of the blue one day, um, <laughs> which, I don't know, you want to tell the story or no? No, you tell <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so one day, this is after MLK Day, so it was a snow day here in the DMV. My mom sends me a text. She's like, stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> And check your email. So I'm like, okay. Check my email. It's a message from a ABC representative. And from their race and culture department, they said they found our series on here on YouTube, Here Together, Healing Together. And that they wanted to spotlight um, our... They wanted to spotlight us on a segment for the Black History Month. Or I don't know if that was an email, actually. Yeah, it was. Okay, it was. So I'm like, this is spam. Like, this is such a spam email. My mom always falls with these things. So I'm like, Mom, calm down. She's like, no, I think we should see. We should check it out. I'm like, okay. So we email them back the same day. Maybe an hour later, we get an, a reply to that email. And they're like, yeah, well, let's set up a, a interview, pre-interview via Zoom. So we were like, okay, this may be serious. <laughs> so me and my mom hop on a quick call. We say a prayer because we like, Lord have your way because we don't know like this we didn't go looking for this this was something we just you know it came to us and so we're like lord before we even move have your way you know this is our story but it's not only our story so we want to be very um pray prayful about that um prayerful about that so we go in the interview is about 45 minutes and the rest is history i mean it just happened so um yeah we wanted to just come on and give a recap of like where we are today um and just like some follow-up questions that we've seen like floating around there because the sh segment was not as long as we did shoot uh, so we just wanted to jump on and say hey y'all and give y'all some updates so, Mom? well um first of all i want to thank our youtube audience um, yeah thank you for your support thank you for your overwhelming uh response and thank you for chiming in uh, to the series because without your participation, um, they would have never found our story. So that yes. I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank y'all. And then there were a couple of things that kind of um, surprised me as a result of as we were going through some of the comments because we really wanted to start a conversation and we don't want to ever forget our purpose and our goal. So it was important for us. <laughs> to see what the GMA audience felt, how they were feeling, and to check in on them. And we are gradually, we thought we got through the, every day we think we finished the comments and more are coming. Um, so it's our goal to, to go back and to be responsive and to help those that are on that channel, leaving comments, to start the conversation. So, yeah. um, so this is what startled me, Lauren, was like, I'm a rock star with your age group, mm. but with my age group, it's kind of like crickets and a little shade. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I wanted to be able to, um, during the recap, to just reassure mothers that I, I am in your corner, 110%. Um, I know where you are if you're trying to navigate with your adult child. I've been there uh, twice. Um, and so I, it is not my intent to be offensive. It is my um, goal to try to help you avoid um, some of the mistakes that I have made and to be transparent in my experiences so that you don't ever have to experience um, some of the things that I've experienced in my journey. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for clearing it up, Mom. I'm mm -hmm. sure it it means a lot for you to say that and for women your age to hear that. Yes. So thank you for sharing. Um, some other things that we've been seeing is like 
that um, mental health doesn't just affect women, black women in particular. Yes, we know that. That's very clear. But since it is Black History Month, and since our story is about a mother-daughter dynamic, that is the angle we came from. We're just telling our story. It is not to say that we are the only ones that experience mental health distress, issues, diagnoses, or, or whatever, right? Because everyone has mental health. No matter what your gender is, no matter what your race is, everyone has mental health. And so a big push, a big push that I stand to do in my work is to make sure that we are all literate about what mental health is. Everyone has mental health. Everyone should be tending to their mental health just like you would your physical health, financial health, and so forth, spiritual health. And so that's something that I wanted to clear up too. Like this is just our story and the perspective from our lens, not necessarily what we're saying in general for everybody, right? So you may experience something else. You may have a family dynamic that, you know, it's too abusive to go back to. We understand that. That was not Absolutely. our case, right? And so our our story is that we had something that we could get over and we wanted to do that together. And so that's what Here Together, Here and the Other is about. And we want it to be something where women can walk away. Not just women, because since the filming of this, that's also an update. Since the filming of this, we've been able to help parents have conversation with their children. Right. Men and women. Right. Um, young men and young women older older women and their mothers as well and yes. so this is something that we have for particularly the black family but we do know that other families of other races and ethnicities have the same issues and you can also start that conversation too we're just saying in our context in our community this is very prevalent because we don't talk about it um so yeah do you have anything right. else to add mom uh, mm -hmm. just that uh that moms, this is very difficult for me, and I'm sure a lot of mothers, because we come from, this is generational from us. You know, this is our grandmamas taught our mamas, and our mamas taught us what they learned. So it's kind of like a where we may take it personal initially, but it really is a release um, and a change. Because if we want to have a better life, and I can, I can, give you my full testimony here my life is a 180 degree turn since it is. <laughs> since i don't have to um only look at talking to my girlfriend or um scared to talk to my husband scared to say something to my daughter from finding that safe place for me to talk to someone about how I'm truly feeling. And it allowed me to understand that I had totally, totally disconnected from myself. Yeah. And, you know, I wish I would have done this so much earlier. So for me, it started out as a family thing, but it's really becoming a more, it, it was for me. Yeah. And it's, it's in... I, my prayer is that for women of my age understand it's a much bigger discussion and a much bigger issue than just with your family or your daughters or your sons. This is about you and having an honest conversation with someone about whatever it is that you're going through or whatever it is that you need to purge mm -hmm. um, so that your life too can turn to 180 degrees. Mine's happened as a result of a family crisis that I hope no mother would have to go through. But the reality is we're living in a different time. It's a different generation. And we have to accept that fact. We have to learn how to live in their world. We have to learn how to communicate in their world in order to have a fruitful and productive and less stressful life. Because I know with my adult daughters, my life was becoming stressful mm -hmm. because I didn't know how to communicate with them. I didn't know how to reach them. Um, so I just want to hit home on that and just really clear up for women of my generation that this is a platform and I am a voice for you. So as we continue our episodes, trust me, I'm your advocate over here. And yeah. make sure you put in the comments anything you need me to, to read Lauren about or oh. read this. Millennials, y'all do it too, okay? Because, yeah, because y'all be tripping sometimes, but it's okay. 
But this is what we're but this is what we're aiming to do is to keep the conversation going, to help you start the conversation, but also to keep it going. So there will be more episodes of Here Together Healing Together. Um, and like mom said, drop it in the comments what you would like to see. And this is a platform where we can take up space and keep talking about the things that are burden are burdensome to us. Um, and this is also a brave place, safe space. And so bring bring it bring it here. Bring it here and lay it on the altar. Um, because listen, that's what that's what has helped us. Um, and so if you're looking for that community, we're here for you because we're healing together. Don't forget about Love Wild resources. Oh yes, and there's also a resource page. A lot has happened since we last talked, y'all. <laughs> listen, your girl is a licensed therapist, Yay! mental health clinician. So there are some resources that I can share with you now from a clinical perspective as well as a millennial daughter who has had the conversation with her mother, who is continuing to have conversations with her mother. We are still operating on the code system. Um, so, 100. yes, you can visit <laughs> www.lovewellmen, that's M-I-N.com for some resources for mental health <clears throat> um, as well as spiritual health and community connectedness. So I'm um, excited about that and to build with you all. Um, any, anything you want to share? No. Okay. Well, as always, thank y'all. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with what's happening with Here Together, Healing Together, a mother-daughter episode. I guess we're doing a series for real, for real now, girl. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.